I'm Mike and this is your tech tip of the day. Um, having the right tool for the job is very important and when it comes to new technology there are new tools that are that are uh, being um, developed with those uh, with the new technology and what we're going to talk about today is the EEV or uh, electronic expansion valve. Now everyone's familiar with the old thermostatic expansion valve TEV or TXV and the way they work is they modulate uh, the refrigerant flow through a bellows and uh, a, uh, basically a bulb that has refrigerant in it so when the, the refrigerant heats up it puts pressure on the bellows and it, and it meters the refrigerant but it is almost always in a at least slightly open position now with an EEV a little bit different technology we have a it, it's actually a stepping motor it's a stator and a rotor so what happens is is we send a signal through a board to this this stator and it rotates the uh, the needle valve in there and that's how it meters um, not a big deal I mean basically the same um, theory the problem is is that in EEV when you do not have a call for cooling or for the compressor it goes closed every time and that can be an issue when you're going to service the refrigerant side of the system so um, the risks involved there is that you you don't um, you have pockets in the system that um, are closed off when this closes and there's actually refrigerant in that part of the system so you can't recover all the refrigerant uh, and you can't evacuate it properly so you need a special tool to do that and that's what we're talking about today this is the uh, EEV manual actuator tool part number 2151-021 again that's 2151-021 and you can get that through your local bar distributor and what it does is it allows you to be the manual stator to actually turn this and actually turn the mechanism on the valve so you can manually open it. And we're gonna take a look at how the mechanism works right here. Okay, so here's the mechanism in an EEV. You can see there's really not much to it. There's a needle valve down here, and then there's a rotor here. And what the EEV tool allows you to do is to slip it right on there and there's magnets inside this that correspond to the magnets in the rotor and so when you turn this you can actually see the mechanism turn and it's moving the needle valve down so that you can open and close it and open up the whole refrigeration system so you can uh, pull the refrigerant out recover the refrigerant and evacuate it properly once you take this off and you put the stator back on and energize that it's automatically going to go back to the closed position and then when the compressor energizes it'll energize this and it'll step back open and work just the way it did now we do have a document out there that kind of explains troubleshooting how this works the eev and it's it's um, a part number 7960-828 revision c and you can go to our website and get that and that'll explain a little bit more and in more detail than what we have time to do and that's your tech tip of the day